Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for a brand new video. Today we are going to be unboxing the Tascam DR10L Lab Ear Microphone. But just before we get into that, I want to make a huge announcement. I've been working really hard here at the channel at making some upgrades. And I can finally say that now the Clay Blackwell merch store is now available. There's a link in the description below. We have coffee mugs, we've got shirts, we've got hats, we've got phone cases, we've got tons of great products. So if you'd like to support me as a creator and an individual, please head down below to the link in the description to the merch store and check that out. Now, let's dive into the Tascam DR10L Lab Ear Microphone and see what we got. Okay, so inside the box here, it looks like we got some candy. Shout out to Sweetwater, love them. And another box. So this is the actual main module, I suppose. This is the Tascam DR10A10L Micro Linear PCM Recorder with Lab Ear Microphone. Comes just like that. Let's open it on up, see what we got inside. Okay, first thing here is, look like a, where you would actually register, or maybe it's a some kind of reward thing, I'm not sure. Then you come to, looks like we've got the main Lab Ear Microphone here in the packaging. We'll get into that in just a second. Okay, and here is the main module itself by Tascam. We're gonna go through some of the settings and stuff like that later. Tascam also includes this nice little baggie here. You can store all your stuff in here in case you're on the go and you're doing audio or something like that, which is awesome because I'm definitely gonna be using this. Okay, so looking at this sheet here, it says if you haven't created an Isotope account, please create a new account here. After creating an account, download Isotope product portal, log in using your email and password. So this must be something to do with how you can use the device or a benefit or feature of using it. And that was on this sheet here that we see. Looks like it's got a code there on the back, so you would go register with that. Looks like, so I'll check into that a little bit later. Okay, and here is the main owner's manual it looks like and there's some warranty stuff here on the back you can fill it out i'm going to dive in and see if there's any kind of like specifications or anything in here okay so i found some of the specifications here it says recording media micro sd card 64 megabytes to 2 gigabytes micro sd hc card 4 gigabytes 32 gigabyte record and playback formats via wave or mp3 44.1 to 48 kilohertz same with the mp3 it is an eighth of inch 3.5 millimeter stereo phone dual mono audio output is powered by one AAA battery it says here you can get about 10 hours of recording time on one AAA battery, so that's very nifty, that's very nice to know. And then it has some uh, weight and dimensions here, 52 millimeters in width. Okay, one thing to note quickly, now that I've went through some of the specifications on the paper before we get into the actual module itself, is that this does not come with a micro SD card, the adapter to download it to your PC or your laptop, and it does not come with a AAA battery. So if you're looking into getting this device, just something you should probably be aware of. Now I'm gonna bring you down here with me, and we're gonna go through some of the specifications on the module itself and then we're going to dive into how it sounds on me. Most of the audio you've been hearing on the channel for quite some time now is just iPhone 10 audio. It's just been budget and that's kind of why things have been created like the merch store to kind of help me acquire some of the gear needed to be a better creator, better serve you guys, and be better entertaining. So without further ado, I'm going to bring you down here with me. We're going to dive into the Tascam module. We're going to see what we got on the actual functions and settings of the device. <music>
Now you can see we got this all set up. I struggled there for a minute with the clip, but I had to refer to the owner's manual. It just goes around the actual lavalier microphone itself. You have to take the pop filter off before you actually install it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it to the right here. And there's a little record slash power switch. We're gonna slide that all the way to the left and hold it. You'll see the actual module power on. It says no card. I have not put an SD card in this yet. And we'll click menu. We're just gonna go through some of the functions here and see what actually is in the module itself. It says my game. We'll go to enter, see what that does. Okay, so it's about at medium volume. I'll go back to menu, click it again. Low cut, low cut filters uh, on or off. We wanna keep this on, cut any kind of low end out of my voice. Let me get this thing on. We'll slide over to limiter, okay. We'll click that, what is that? So this keeps it from peaking, I suppose. So we wanna turn that on. So we'll just slide over here and go on, enter. And then after limiter, it has auto level. So basically, if I'm correct, there's no way to actually monitor this um, because it's gotta be isolated to your hip or your side or at your desk or whatever. So you wanna be able to do auto level adjustment for sure, so we'll do enter on that as well. FS sampling, we'll keep it at 48 kilohertz. Bit length, you can adjust your bit length. There's 24 and then 16, which is a little bit of a lower quality. File type, uh, you can change it to mono or poly. We'll just keep it mono. Dual record, okay, so this is something that I heard about when I did some research on the actual device itself. Basically, it's gonna record two different types of files. One's gonna be about six decibels lower than what you actually record as a safety, just in case it does peak, which some of the other functions on that should save it, but this is just like a safety backup, if you will. So we're gonna go over and we're gonna do negative six decibels. So we'll have one audio recording when we actually get this thing on that'll be at the level in which I record and then we'll have one that's actually negative six in case we peak or some background noise gets picked up or anything like that. Track ink, what does that do? I have to refer back to the owner's manual on that. Warning beep, so I guess it gives you a warning when you're about to record, um, or no, actually this is probably for the battery, excuse me. This is probably for when the battery's about to run out, it gives you a warning beep. We'll go enter on that and we'll do definitely on. We definitely wanna know when our battery's about to run out. And then power save mode, so I'm assuming this will automatically shut off once it gets to a certain point in which the battery's low and it will probably finalize any kind of files you put on here. Name, you can put your name on here or name of the actual file in which you're recording for what video. I I assume. Okay, wait, so yeah, you put your name here and then for this one, you would actually put the file name because this one says file name and this one just says name. Format SD, yeah, we're gonna use yes because we are gonna be using an SD card. It says no card, obviously, but got that. Mic bias, what does that do? I'm not sure. We'll have to check in the owner's manual for that. And then battery type. I'm not even really sure what battery I have in here to be honest. So we'll just leave that alone for now. Date and time. Let me set this up, which I think is really important, especially if you're organizing any footage and you want to keep your files organized in which date and time they're recorded. So it's probably a good set of date and time in here. We won't do that for now. And then what's this? SYS initial. We'll just leave that alone for now. Info version 2.124. And then we're back to my game. So there's all the settings that I know of so far. I'll have to dig around the owner's manual and set everything up the rest of the way. But now let's get this thing on me and see how it sounds. Okay, so now that we've went through some of the features of the task camp, I'm gonna go ahead and power it on and let you guys have a listen to what it sounds like compared to iPhone 10 audio. We'll go back and forth a little bit just for comparison and see what you guys think. Be sure to drop down in the comments below. Let me know if you think this device is good or you would not buy it or whatever you might think. Anyways, let's power it on and see what we got. So the first thing we're gonna do to power it on, obviously, is we're gonna slide it all the way to the left. That's gonna engage device to come on. Again, comes up and says task cam. To record, to enable record, you're just gonna slide all the way to the right and hold it. And it is now recording my voice. It's given a file name with a long number. It's now counting. So yeah, this is the task cam recording my voice right now. Hopefully it sounds good, we'll see. I won't know if it sounds good till I get to edit this video, which I'm excited for. But this is the task cam audio. This is iPhone audio. Task cam iPhone. So yeah, be sure to drop down in the comments below and let me know what you think. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like I said in the beginning, there's a merch store I've just launched. Be sure to check that out in the description below. Maybe pick up one of the designs that I've custom made. There's two on there right now, as well as the rest are just my logo. I appreciate you guys stopping by and I will see you guys in the next video. Always be sure to find something that makes you smile. Peace.